the, the idea of add-ons to Minecraft, which means that you can have effectively mods on your Minecraft world if you're willing to pay. I downloaded all 19 of these for 61 US dollars, and I was about to use all of these to prove how actually paying all this money will make you worse, but then they released four more, and so I guess we're going to have to now do something a bit more painful and spend an extra, uh, it's about 15 US dollars or so, uh, we're going to be spending a few extra mine coins to make sure we have the secure bunkers add-on, which I guess is going to be fun, to make sure we have the chest pets add-on. This will not help me beat Minecraft in the slightest. Why do I need a chest called Chesto and Pirato and Kato? I don't is the answer, but I'm going to buy it anyway, just in case it helps or hinders my progress. Uh, make sure we get that downloaded as well. And also, I'll be checking out the mob armor. This one actually seems like it might be somewhat useful. Armor to protect your know, armor that lets you gain the abilities of mobs, including the warden, a creeper, or a bee for some reason. What would becoming a bee even help you? Uh, do but uh, then we're going to download the XP crystal bank add-on at which point I will officially have spent more on microtransactions for Minecraft uh, Just on add-ons for Minecraft than any game should cost and why am I doing this to myself? Why have I subjected myself to such a high level of microtransaction? Well, it's to find out all of these are good first of all But also to see what it map what it looks like rather when you put them all on the same world So let's do precisely that right now pay to lose. So yeah, this is uh, honestly the first question is will this even work? Will this break Minecraft? Because once we, you know, by the, you know, like adding our computers, sure that's easy. Adding, um, you know, like a hiker's friend, sure yeah that's great. But the more add-ons you put on a world, the more it starts to break because those add-ons have to interact with each other. So this is going to be a test of Minecraft's add-on system. Will any of these add-ons break any of these other add-ons? And more importantly, Will it break my Minecraft altogether? Uh, let's let's find out. So we're just going to be adding them all on here. And by the time we're done, we should see a Minecraft world which has 23 um, add-ons available. So 1 through 23. <laughs> that is insane, but it's what we've got. And uh, yeah, at this point, I uh, am ready to roll. This is my world. Let's see how it goes. I have no expectations of how any of this is going to work. But do keep in mind, some of these add-ons will make my life harder. Um, oh, okay, so my first warning sign was usually Minecraft loads in about five seconds on a new world. It has been five seconds and the bar is at zero percent. <laughs> so that's bad, but I mean, maybe it's actually working harder to make a better world. Uh, we're still at zero percent. Okay. So, yeah, okay, the dreams of pay to lose might be over, chat. Oh, no, no, we're at third. Everything's frozen a bit, but we're okay. Oh, yes. You, it's so close. If we can, modified world, by the way, that's an interesting little thing there. The world may not look or behave in the same way as non-modified worlds, and you can't earn achievements. Useful to know. No achievements for me today, except the achievement of knowing uh, what it feels. <laughs> Look at all those messages that showed up in chat. Okay, so something has broken. My inventory is pink. Um, I believe- oh, and my crosshair is pink as well. This could be, to be fair, one of the add-ons, but I would imagine that something has gone horribly wrong. So my inventory, uh, spawns in this field, by the way. <laughs> um, and we have all these tools that we can interact with furniture with. Uh, so I guess we'll work out uh, if we can't also after one second your Minecraft is broken. Okay, so what let's work out what we definitely don't need I don't want any of these books for any of the add-ons. I already know about I think we just want chest pets because I haven't experienced that I want mob armor actually damn it. Okay, we're gonna have to go back for that So we'll throw away spark portals spark pets mutants dragon fire dragon fire computers hikers friend techna techna guidebook <laughs> dome of magic the survival max user guide Elemental crops and all the wool and then we'll also get rid of the gravestone uh, And the oh, there's a wiki by the way. How very interesting Decora craft and the bunker control. We might have to keep that actually So this is about as much as I feel comfortable throwing away right now I I do need to spawn crafty in the world I guess uh, if I'm gonna be using him which maybe I should maybe I shouldn't I don't know Hey, buddy, I'm oh, here. isn't that fun? Ready okay. to play please, some Minecraft please stay with away. Me. Um, so now the question is secure bunkers. Now let's see if we can fix this texture issue. Because as you can see, 
He's got a texture issue above him. So there's going to be some other problems with this. I'm going to save and quit. Oh, look, I've gone pink too. Oh, and Minecraft has crashed. <laughs> okay, so the next time we load it up, hopefully it will work better. Okay, you have the knockoff dash I see. <laughs> awesome magenta time. Yeah, so that, that bug seems to be getting worse and worse and worse. Uh, but hopefully it doesn't happen this time. That's the hope. It could be, though, the world just won't load up this time. It is something we're going to find out as we go in. Also, Toy Cat has uh, done the, the thing with the, uh, the soda fountain into one cup. The world peace solution. Yeah, I mean, Minecraft... Oh, it works now. So we fixed the biggest problem. Um, that's exciting. And more importantly... Oh, all of these books respawned because I opened the world. So I went through all of that effort to get rid of them. But let's get rid of them again. Honestly, do I need any of these books? I'll work out the rest as we go along. Let's let's just let's literally empty everything. Like I I would love to know what's happening, but I don't think it's going to be too useful. Also, the item you can't drop crafty. I have a permanently lost inventory spot now. That's great, but that's wonderful. So let's see if we can beat Minecraft with all these add-ons. You'll notice that at first, not too much is different. Like the occasional new mob spawns around, but uh, trust me when I say that you'll notice. Oh look, there's a bear. Should we kill the bear? Do you think bear meat is a thing? Yeah, bear meat is a thing. Also, did it really fix by restarting? Everything, every every single computer issue has a has a more a higher chance of being fixed by restarting than more or less anything else. And it's annoying because you know that's true. Like when you start from scratch and try everything again, something that might have gone wrong along the way might be better. But it just it just it just hurts because when it doesn't go right, you're like, well, why would it? Why would why would that intuitively do anything? It's uh, there's a lot of feelings like that in the world of things that. Like, they're really, really effective, but they don't feel good. And, you know, there are times where they're not. And so we don't like to use them. It's like drinking water. It solves so many of life's problems. Uh, but at the same time, doesn't mean that, like, you're going to drink a bunch more water. Because it doesn't solve the biggest of life's problems. It just solves a lot of very minor ones. And it's nice to have those solved. So, um, while trying to get some stone, I realized that this whole area is where I found some earlier. We're going to quickly mine up to the stone tier. Because I don't see any easy villages to access, so it's going to be great. Also, um, one of those books had the guide to... Okay, there we are. Also, every time you make an animal video, wear a magenta shirt. <laughs> Fun idea. I So, yeah, you can't drop or remove this. I have lost an inventory space to an add-on I don't intend to really heavily use. Although, actually, maybe this is the perfect time for him. Let's spawn him in. Hey, dude! Okay, well, so you are going to chop some wood for me. Hey, love, Please, let me go do it. Question, Perfect. Man. So now he's busy doing that, and I will get some extra free wood. That seems like a big bonus to me. Honestly, maybe, maybe I wrote off the crafty one too early. Maybe he is the biggest early game addition we can have. Um, you should put the walking stick in your off hand. Thank you very much, Dasher. Wow, that is a useful piece of advice. I, uh... Do, 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 does, would it work in my off hand? It doesn't seem like it would. I... Can anyone in chat tell me if the walking stick would be useful in my off hand as well as my uh, my regular hand? But yeah, let's head towards the pillager outpost over here. Because that's the closest form of civilization I can see. And so it's just what we're going to use today. So yeah, the walking stick is the biggest pro tip. It is hard to keep an eye on everything we need to use. But it is something I should be doing a bit better out of this. Always two walking sticks. One walking stick is for... Oh, they nerfed it, chat! They nerfed the walking stick! Oh, why did I have to complain about it? Um, so the walking stick does four damage now, equal to a wooden sword. Yeah, but honestly, not that good. But you can put it in the offhand, and you'll always have this bounce, which is worthwhile. Okay. Also, give me some plan? wood. Please. Uh, chop. Go. I asked you to do it. No offense, but you this. didn't do it. Uh, it's pretty bad of you. Speaking of pretty bad, thank you, Cat Beanie. Mini Bob being a tiny dictator, but I hope you guys have a great stream. Thank you very much, Cat, for... Uh, for being here, except when you have a dictator. High five. Okay, ah, okay. give me the wood. Right? How do I... Okay, um, give. I got there we go, seven wood. Thank you, you very much. So, now now that I, th now I think what we're done with do? this. Take wait, a break. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, take a break. Bye -bye, okay, he's buddy. gone. Sorted. Okay, very, very lovely. Again, so someone else's YouTube demographic is loving that add-on, but it's just it's just not for me. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I think that's the fun thing about the internet, right? Is, uh... You can find content that's tailored to you, but also you can find content that's tailored to people who are so far the opposite of you that you wonder, like, are they are they are they really into that or is it a mistake? 
Um, and uh, I, I, I mean, I mean, no shade against uh, Minecraft YouTubers that aim their videos at children, but it's like I don't even know how you would work out. Also, ducks. <laughs> I, I find it hard to like, I you know, work out what it is that you would enjoy, uh, and how you would find. I, I, I guess it's like, it's a good thing if you can find the fulfillment from doing stuff like that. But to me, I'm like, oh, you're just gonna you you you, you make content for people that immediately consume it and then. Go, ah, where's, where's my lemonade, though? Or whatever. Um, imagine they choose to nerf walking sticks in real life and the outrage people would have. I, uh, I mean, uh, my, my grandmother used a walking stick for most of her life and definitely OP. Also, probably makes her reliant on it, I bet. I have no, no, no knowledge if that's actually true. But you, you rarely see people go on a walking stick and then come off the walking stick, right? Therefore, um... Maybe we should nerf them to make them uh, less encouraged. In the same way, nerfing the walking stick now means I can use a diamond sword again. Um, also, I do not want to fight the the people over there. I don't think there's an easy alternative, and I don't think there's enough reward for me to consider it. So, I'm just gonna walk out of here, and I'm gonna go that way and try and find like a village or something. Um, did you grandma put a walking stick in the offhand? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'll have to ask. I will have to ask. So, Gabby, don't craft your inventory. You can place them somewhere and then fill your inventory. Ah, that's smart, bearded man. Okay, so we fill the inventory. Um, that that is how we can get away with 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 no with no crafting if we wanted one. But again, we've got the add-on enabled. We have to deal with its downsides as well as its upsides. That is a, a thing that I will accept. So yeah, we're heading towards a village because. It's just one of the easiest structures you can find if you want to beat Minecraft. And uh, we're in a decent zone where if we find a village, it probably has a stronghold below it too. Evening Toy Cat, how was your long weekend? I had a long weekend? Um, what was what was long about it? I was it did I miss a bank holiday? I hope it was good. Um, oh, Minecraft has just crashed. Oh no. Oh hello. Hello, I'm IBX Toy Cat, and I'd like you to know. That the game does not like all these add-ons being on at the same time. Uh, it does not like it one bit. But we're going to force it to play with it all anyway. <laughs> oh, that was weird. Okay, so we found a village over there. That is exactly what I was asking for. And so all we're going to do before we go is pick up some stone. And uh, smelt my, my, my stone into stuff and get it done. So with that said, um, terrible suggestions of Toycat is back. Terrible suggestions of Toycat is my favorite series. Hope you're doing wonderful, by the way, Pat. Um, we need just one more stone to do that, and it'll be golden. Um, it was long because you had it streamed, and it made it seem extra long to me. Oh, thank you. I uh, <laughs> I did... Um, I, I would like to believe I have a good reason for not streaming yesterday. I had the weirdest thing, like, I got really, really sick for, like, two hours, and then I was just entirely fine afterwards. Usually, I feel like that's not how my body works. But I think I ate some really, really bad cheese. I also slightly undercooked some bacon, and I feel like pig is one of those those animals you're not meant to undercook. I mean, maybe you could argue you're not meant to cook it at all, but, you know, outside of the ethical argument, um, you definitely shouldn't undercook it, that is for sure. So, now we're going to just take this back with us. I, it's a bit annoying to do, but it's fine. Uh, food poison. I don't know what food poisoning really is. Like, as far as I can tell, food poisoning is just an excuse to... <laughs> Uh, like a non-deniable excuse to get away from something. But I don't actually know if I've ever had food poisoning. Like, how can I say that it was the food for sure? I mean, I did throw up and I felt better after throwing up. But there's lots of time. Like, every time I, you know, every, if you, there's a lot of things that can be solved. Uh, you know, a lot of things, a lot of times throwing up will make you feel better. Doesn't mean that it was the stuff in your stomach that was causing you problems. Actually, it probably is. Clearly never had it. You can eat bacon raw, so it wasn't that. You can eat bacon raw? Oh, I've been living life wrong. You're not digging troops? Thank you for that life lesson. Always eat your suspicious stew, kids. <laughs> yeah, people tried to tell me that blinding stew wasn't real. That there was no medieval stew in villages, which would blind people that drank it. But at the same time, uh, despite people saying that, um, you know, there is clearly a stew that can make you nauseous. And that, that's that's what I've been drinking. Anyway, the... So far, the day... It's been pretty normal, right, chat? This The amount of add-ons I have... Honestly, they all seem to go outward in a way that doesn't affect the survival game too much. 
Such that I, like, I'm noticing dragons and the occasional new mob. But otherwise, exploration feels very vanilla. Do you feel what I'm feeling there, chat? Do you think that's a good thing is the more important question. Um, also, you know it's a good day when you're stuck in a blizzard and Toy Cats start streaming. A blizzard's the, the Dairy Queen dessert, right? It was what I, when, when there was a lockdown and I was in Vegas, uh, getting a 1200 calorie dessert from Blizzard Queen was uh, one of the joys of my life. So uh, I, I would like to say that you being stuck inside one is bad. You know, the portion sizes have gone up because I, I feel like I could get like one of my feet in to one of those blizzards, but getting your whole body in, that's impressive. Bathing in a bathtub full of blizzard, now that's an idea. Uh, you know, that's that's an idea for the member only series. Uh, the, the best series on this channel, Toy Cat Babes in Blank. Anyway, with that said, let's jump into the water. Let's swim to the village and just use one of their beds. And in the morning, let's see if we can't get our hands. There's a small chance of getting a saddle here. If we get a saddle here, that's incredible for our ability to get a dragon. If we can't get one, then we'll just get an emerald because we. I, I think. It, I, I want to say that it costs one uh, emerald to get a saddle if you find a dragon salesman. And that'd be pretty good. It'd be so cold though, much worse than an ice bath. Oh, uh, I don't find the idea of an ice bath to be horrifying, honestly. Although, actually, with that said, I I think 20 degrees makes you like, ah, in a bath. So maybe an ice bath would be horrifying. You know, there's only one way to know for sure, and it's to, to buy the ice and have the ice bath. And then see how that feels. So, um, now with that said, let's grab some hay bales so we have some decent backup food. I love that we get what feels like faster mining of these hay bales. And then, where from here, chat? If we can't get an emerald, which I'm just going to hope we can... But if we can't get an emerald and we can't get closer to trading, I guess we grab some iron and we just move on to our day. Uh, so will you buy some wheat of me? Will you buy some wheat of me? Potatoes, darn it. So let's break this. And then let's eat. Oh, that's the guy right here. So as long as he will re-pick up his job if I place it down, he will not. Okay, that's bad. Maybe if I destroy his work site, which has to be around here somewhere. Oh god, this is not working according to plan. Okay, well, then I guess that there goes that idea. No no selling wheat. Oh, look, there's a little, there's a little pet over here. Isn't that the cutest? I have to feed him treats or something. I don't know how I'm going to get those. So instead, I'm just going to kill the golem. This is your boy. He needs... I, I, I guess I'll get a stone sword. No, I'll use the walking stick. The walking stick has infinite durability. So it's perfect for situations like this. So stack, stack, stack. Oh, I, I stacked up way too close to the wood there. So he's going to mess me up. He's going to mess me up real hard. Um, okay, I'm just going to keep hanging from a distance. Use that speed to hopefully make this work. Okay. Okay. Get in the water, maybe. <laughs> That'll help me survive a little longer. And then just do some punching from over here. I don't know why he's not jumping down to this lair in front of me. But if he does, he will end my life. So, hey. I um, If it feels like pain, you'll like it. Sometimes you need a little bit of pain in your life. But yeah, I think uh, it might be fun. Also, how about Toy Cat Baby in Australia? What do Australians drink? What's the... What would be the the equivalent version of that series for Australia? Clearly something we need to do. Also, speedrun on the living 100 villages when? That's a fun challenge, right? How fast could you kill 100 villages? It's a really interesting challenge too, because... Yeah, I, I, I like the idea of that challenge. I do like that idea. Oh, look at this, this fella over here. I just don't have a way to tame you, but you look so cool. I want a dragon, but I don't have a Saturn. Sneak, okay, so, yeah, one, one Saturn when we're ready to go. We just gotta find one, chat. Do you see any, any sign of anyone who might at least buy? Yeah, if you give me an emerald, that'd be equivalently good. Yes, he will. So we'll get three emeralds just in case I'm wrong. But that should be now enough for me to get. Uh, a saddle, if we can just find a dragon saddle salesman. So a dra uh, So the reason we want a dragon nice and early, the reason we've ignored most of the add-ons besides the walking stick and apparently crafty, is because um, I really, really want to get my hands on transportation. And a dragon is such insane transport. It's like having access to an Elytra, but this early in the game. And so if we could get our hands on one, it'd be good. In the meantime, though, this desert might yield something even more favorable to me. So it's worth going in for. Also, no, we need um, we need to craft some bread because I am out of food. So 
90 wheat, 34 bread. That should be great. Then we'll get a little bit more coal, just in case it's needed for some food later. And then I'll finally make a stone axe, because I feel like there's been too many situations where I need one. Oh, also, we should make a bucket and a shield. The wrench is not going to be on my... Uh, it looks very fun, but a shield and a bucket are going to be much more valuable to me. So grab both of those. And now here we are. Look at me. Base... Oh, right. <laughs> bad, bad news on the shield. Also, Foster's for Australian beer. Um, it would have to be coffee or beer. Australians do love coffee. On like a level that is, is amazing to me as an outsider. Speaking of amazing to me as an outsider... The goal now is to cross the world as fast as possible, looking for- oh, wow, it was one right there. <laughs> I love that. So this is a- what is he called? A Rex Egg Trader. So he'll give me a saddle for just one emerald, which is really, really wild. He'll also give me pork chops for a pretty decent price. I don't even know why he would give me a pork chop this cheaply, but I want a second saddle. And then I'm gonna buy a lot of pork chops. I'm gonna smell up these- you know, should I make more pork chop? Yeah, let's- yeah, honestly, the price of per pork chop is so good on this one. And I'm going to buy a lot of those, get the experience for it. And then I'm going to smelt those up while I tame a dragon. I already had a dragon. I think it was that one over there. And now I have the ability to fly around the world, get all the loot I want, and most importantly, find a place to go to the nether where there's fewer mutants, but still quite a few. Mutants are the bane of this run. If you haven't seen me play uh, Beating Minecraft with... I think it was the first $40 worth of add-ons. Mutants are just, they're just terrible. Every single way. And so, let's see. Oh, look at that chat. <laughs> it's a chest pet. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why are you like this, chest pet? Do I have to kill you? Are you a mean chest pet? <laughs> is, this, is this a real add-on? <laughs> what do I do with this? What do I... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna get in the ocean now. Uh, I'm gonna put my saddle on the dragon, and we're gonna give him a test to make sure he works. Some dragons seem like they need a bit of encouragement. Oh, this guy's great. There we go. So we have to kind of point upwards. But yeah, we can't get off these things in midair. But just to check that that's true. Ah, oh, there you can see. Sneak on ground to dismount. I wanted to make sure though, and I won't be trying to get off just in case, because it will go poorly for me. So here we go, we've got a very fast dragon, very fast, fast means of transport. All I need to work out now is food. Uh, realistically, I've got food even without this. Also, yeah, the desert is a bad place to bring a dragon because he just, I just, the dragons are not very smart. They don't seem to know when they're being damaged or not. Anyway, let's grab one of these. Grab this guy right here and let's go on an adventure chat. Oh yeah, look at this. So I'm gonna go in the, Positive X, negative Z direction. I'm just going to try and go as high up as I can. And this means kind of pointing at the sky, because that's how you go up in this thing. And now we look around. If we see a desert temple, I will come down. Uh, otherwise, I think I just need a big bit of lava. And I'm going to go to the nether. It's going to be great. So, uh, are these DLCs available on platforms, all platforms slash consoles? The answer is, um, yes, any Minecraft Bedrock version should be eligible to download it. The, um, there are, there are certain requirements on certain platforms. I don't know if these are for add-ons, but there are, there are some pieces of DLC you can't download on some devices based on RAM. But it's very, very few, so yes is the simple answer, and sort of yes is the long answer. So there is a weird little patch of desert right here, which has a village. Uh, I don't think having a village is that useful to me, though. Uh, I can get a few more hay bales. But I don't really think I need that. So I'm just not going to go. Instead, I'll come back this way. Could pick up some nice amounts of gold from here, I'm sure. And I'm going to... Oh, oh, oh. Is that it? No, no. I've got this chest heart I really want to use now that I have it. I genuinely have no idea how the chest add-on works. And there was too many books for me to read to have any chance of finding it out. So, yeah, we're gonna stand on the ground for a bit, let the dragon recover, and then fly again. Oh, dragon doesn't wanna fly. There, there must be like a recharge period. Like you can't fly that long in a row. Cause this has happened to me before, interestingly. So we've been walking along the ground now. We can't sprint, but after enough time has passed, we can hopefully 
fly again. Come on, you can do it. You can, nope. <laughs> Maybe the dragon only has so much flight in her life. It's like a balancing mechanism. Let the dragon rest. You know what? Maybe I don't want to let the dragon rest. Maybe the dragon doesn't deserve rest. You ever think about that? Hey, Toy Cat. How are you doing today? Just wondering which of the add-ons is your fave. Mine has to either be Naturalist or World Utility. I like Naturalist a lot. Um, I do think World Utility is... You know, I, I do think we're a while away from having an add-on that I can just objectively say, here's why it's good. The list of bads are not worth mentioning because it is that good. Uh, TNT is very silly, and Mutants is great for the challenge, but it's like too much challenge sometimes. Um, yeah, I, I think I think Naturalist is the easiest all-round recommendation. It And uh, all of the other add-ons are just so light in content. There's just... They, they make you feel like you're paying more money to get less content than you would elsewhere. I love the wizard add-on. Yeah, the wizard add-on feels like maybe the best of the new batch. Um, I Again, it, it feels a little bit like, uh, you know, it could be better rounded, for sure. Okay, so I'm going to tame a new dragon now. Because my old dragon won't let me ride it anymore. And hopefully, this will go well for me. That's, that's the plan. Let's see if it goes good. So we'll put a saddle on this dragon. And then we'll jump off onto this dragon. Take that saddle. And then get back on this one. And now fly. There we go. Much better. So into the air we shall go. Make sure the dragon doesn't kill you again like last time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, flying a dragon around the never is a skill I've learned. Not to be reliant on. Also, I can't find any lava pits. I really am trying to fly here. Hey, thank you, Emily, for gifting 10 memberships. 10 more people can now enjoy the joys of Toy Cat bathing in Iron Brew, which I think is absolutely beautiful. Um, um, I tell you what, Internet, what, what, do they, what do they drink in the Middle East? I've got an upcoming trip there. Could make a fun little detour for that, maybe. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I'm coming down to this village because I see there's lava. Actually, uh, sorry, light. But actually, this is a great way to find lava because lava would make a big light into the sky. So there is lava over there. It must be. Yeah, I'm fairly sure I found lava now, chat. So I can sleep in this village. No, wait, what is it? Where is that light coming from? What could this be? Is it... Is it just the coral that's below the ground? There's some sea cucumbers, maybe? Okay, so now we can zoom along the ground. Whee! So fun. Um, take a little nap in the village. Except, no. I think we don't want to do that. I am going to take a, a bed with me, just in case. Uh, you, you never know when you're going to need to sleep. Hey, thank you, Emily, some more. Man, love, love, to, see, uh, love to see you sharing the love. I hope you're doing absolutely wonderful. Also, what flavor even is Iron Brew? I assume it's orange flavor, orange flavor, but like here it's not. Yeah, it's definitely not orange flavor. It's like, uh, it's, uh, it, it, it tastes like Iron Brew. That's the easiest way to explain it. Iron Brew is Iron Brew. Oh, God, Mute Creeper. Okay, get me out of there, please. Oh, fly up. Go. Lovely. Just what I want to see. Um... But yeah, this is uh Oh, there we go. Wonderful. That is a pile of lava. I've got a bed. So as long as I keep flying that way, I'll place my bed around the lava, and then we can go to the nether. It's a nice world we got here. Oh, this is also fairly close to spawn, so it'll be good for coming back to the stronghold. Because it's close to a thousand, a thousand too. And uh, there's even a second pit of lava not that far away. So going down is a bit of a pain in dragons. It's it's weird. They don't really maneuver up and down very well, which you'd figure would be the best dimensions for them. But either way, we're going to sleep. And now if we die in the never, I at least have some recourse. <laughs> oh, um, okay, so good, bad news. You're going in there. Next up, we've... Oh, what what is happening to me? What, chat, what do you think just happened there? Oh, it's a skeleton. Okay, I'm... I was wondering, like, I'm pretty sure I knocked the, the zombie away. But it's a mutant skeleton. They don't die during the day. It's 
my favorite part about them. <laughs> it's the fact that you can't just make them go away by killing them. No, 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 no. Or by, um, you know, waiting for them to despawn. You could kill them. By the way, thank you, Chua Rabi, for becoming the 371st channel member. Welcome to the gang. You've now got the green name, as you can see. Get access to a lot of lovely things. I hope you enjoy them. So my dragon... Oh, there, there is, in fact, a mine shaft here. I knew I, I... I thought I saw one, but I was like, oh, must have been wrong, because I, I don't see it very clearly. But we're just going to peek in here, because uh, surface mine shafts are really, really great for chests, because it still technically is a mine shaft. It's just you can explore way more. And so if you can explore way more, you might find a minecart chest hanging out on the ground just like this. And in this case, it has precisely no value to me. Besides maybe that name tag, maybe these torches. Realistically, neither of those things. And then we got a jungle cat that we can kill. Now, pro tip, killing jungle cats is bad for your health. And so I won't be doing that anytime too soon. For now though, let's hop into this. Ooh, so place wood there. Place lava on the side of that. Then wait for the water to destroy it. In the meantime, Stack up. I don't even know where I stack up. I've done it wrong so many times now, chat. Stack up over here. And then place a block. Make a, make a hole over here. And place a block over here. And there we go. It doesn't flow everywhere. Which means that I can now do that, apparently. Not my goal. I can also do this. And then one of these. And then one of these. And then I can place one over here, too. That doesn't really benefit me too hugely. But yeah, I think I'm... Okay, chat. I've, I've, it's been so long since I did this. I just made a nether portal correctly on the first time. Wow. I didn't know I could do that anymore. <laughs> it's been it's been years. I thought the technology was lost. I made a nether portal and it didn't go horribly wrong. Usually it takes like a little bit of maneuvering, some weird attempts. That's so nice. Wow. I'm proud of me, chat. You know what? I... I, uh, you know, some, some people could say that I don't have enough people in my life saying I'm proud of me. Maybe that's one of my, my biggest character defects. And maybe I, I come on the internet and I expect praise from strangers just to make up for that hole. Or maybe I want people to say, Moo, 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 thank you very much. It is good to see you, Moo, Moo. An absolute classic of the, uh, 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 honestly, uh, very, very strange every time. But I'm glad that you've been here all that time. The, the loyalty speaks louder than the words. But the words do speak loudly. They speak loudly and they say confusing things. But that's okay. Most people who speak loudly say confusing things. You ever listen to, like, religious preachers chat? You ever, you ever like, try to, like, really empathize with what they're saying? Like, okay. There's a reason these people are so invested in it. Let's, let's see what that is. I feel like they panic when people are actually listening. Like, they spend a lot of their life on this, like, autopilot where, like, you know, no one's listening, so I can kind of say this for my benefit. It's like if you popped into a live stream with, like, no viewers. It's kind of chill to stream for no viewers. It just means, like, it's like practice. But someone shows up and you're like, oh, ah, hello. Am I meant to talk to you or read your chats? How's your day going? And you don't know, like, are you meant to ignore them? Is that what they're there for? It is a, uh, some people go to small streams specifically for the interaction. Some people avoid them specifically to get away from it. And so how do you, how do you square that circle? You don't is the answer. So with that said, I'm in a warp forest biome. I can tell that. And I couldn't tell you anything else about where I am right now. I guess I'm so deep in a cave that there's no realistic biome around me. And so we're just going to walk this way and see what we find. I ideally would like to find a dragon sooner rather than later, but it's great. Also, the great job on the portal, sir, Toy Cat. Thank you. I, um, what are the new add-ons? Says, hello, Dark Outs, Dark Lotus. Uh, there is one for mob armor, one for chest pets, one for an XP bank. Honestly, it seems like the worst to me. I would love to be wrong about it, but I'm not sure that there is too much to it. And, uh, yeah, so mining through here has led me to a cave. It's not what I was hoping for, but maybe it's what I should have expected. And, oh, lag when we switch dimensions? Sorry about that, bearded man. I wish there was a way to turn it off, but it, all, all of the add-ons do make Minecraft more laggy. There is a truth to that that cannot be solved. Okay, so I am mining as far as I can go, and I'm concluding there is nothing here for me. 
And so what we have to do after this dies is say, okay, try that one again, but from a different direction. Because I think we moved into a different biome because the particles went red here. I want to be where the particles are blue, ideally. Assuming that is the, the right type of particle. And now we're going to mine this way with a stone pickaxe. Let's go. So mine, mine, mine my way gently into the nether. Please find me something that isn't this because I am clever. Also, um... Adding, oh, okay, adding add-ons uh, creates true parity of Java by adding lag. Yeah, the, oh, I hope that lava's gonna finish. Yeah, it is. It's gonna make a big pile down there, but it's an issue for someone else in the future. Someone's gonna clean that up. So, Gats, next challenge, can I beat Minecraft without lag? The answer is no. The answer is never yes. So, uh, yeah, today chat's been a really fun one. I, uh, oh, I'm trying to get rid of it so bad. Today's been a pretty fun one. I, uh, I've been working on a lot of other projects just to get them kind of done. Because I was noticing, like, every day I'd, like, work on something, you know, Minecrafty for this channel. And I feel bad about something I was putting off for the second or the third channel. So I've kind of spent the last couple of days getting them all finished. I've been having a lot of fun with it, actually. I, I think it's a very common thing for YouTubers to, like, have multiple channels uh, nowadays, right? Especially. But I kind of understand why it's a, um, okay, hello piglins, where did you come from and why? Oh, am I dead? Is that, is that what's happening here? Uh, I guess I could do have some armor. That's a useful reminder. I could make some mob armor, actually. Probably. I'll go look at the, I'll go look at the crafting table. I'll see how realistic that sounds. Okay, so you will be easy to kill. I just have to punch you from a distance. Yeah, let's see it. So yeah, let's go look at the crafting table. Let's see if we can't make mob armor. I Again, I would love to read the book on this, but I really did have to throw it away. So mob armor is made from... I'll just type in armor. <laughs> um, it's... Oh, I'll take an uncraftable. Okay, I don't see any armor. Do I type in like B? And oh, it shows me B armor. So oh, it's B chest plate. So I'll type in chest plate. And I'll, I'll go look through them. So there's so many of these now. This is made from Strom Stratus scales. This is made from Frogon scales. And, oh, that's a different type. This is the wind chest plate made from ingots. These are, oh, what is this? You can color your hearts. You can make a chest heart. And you can, okay, well, here we go. So if you get mob essence, you have to combine it with eight drops from a mob. And then you can make it into something fun. So eight bones is very realistic to get, chat. We combine that with mob essence, and we'll get a chest plate. That feels like a good investment if we're going to be spending time in the nether. I can get nine, eight bones really easily. I just need to get mob essence, whatever the heck that is. So, um, I'm going to go I'm gonna go get skeleton armor, chat. So here's my genius plan to get a bunch of bones. You might think they're really tricky to get, but as someone who's been trying to speedrun... What are you doing in there? <laughs> um, oh, this isn't my dragon. Okay. As someone who's been trying to speedrun um, getting all of the wolves in the newest update um, a little bit, and who's going to have the world record when that comes out, by the way, 100%. Um, one of the things that I've learned about that... Oh, there's some flying birds. Oh, please let me out of here. Ooh, there we go. Is that you can find bones in a desert temple very, very easily. And that is incredibly handy. I think you're fine. And so that is precisely what we're going to do right here. Go. Climb fast. <laughs> okay, and so the Desert Temple is going to give me, like, easily enough for a full set. I'll just need to get my hands on Mob Essence. And then work out... Well, realistically, first we need to work out what Mob Essence is. But then we'll get our hands on a bunch and it'll be easy. So, yeah, I could... Honestly, I could do of going to the Never in a different place, too. Whenever, it, whenever it's this hard to do anything, I sometimes just say, why, why are we doing it this way, then? And this is a great example of that. When your never makes it this hard for you to get your way around it, you don't have to deal with it. You can just say, nah, and go somewhere else. It is entirely an option. So that's five bones, chat. That is four string. I guess I can make some spider armor too. Some extra gold might, might be useful against piglins. That is 17 bones now, as well as another saddle. Wow. Um... And then this is 23 bones. Enough for a full set, minus one. And then enough iron to make something or other. Throw the iron in there. Keep the gunpowder. Actually, yeah, let's take out the sand and the gunpowder from all of these. 
so we can make some extra TNT. Just feels like a smart thing to do. I think it's five gunpowder, four sand, so we can make two extra pieces of TNT. That's great. So yeah, Death's Temple loot seems really bad in general, but here I think it's incredible. Given that I needed to get a lot of mob drops so I can make armor out of it, that was, that was pretty decent in my mind. And now we can also make an iron sword, which will be really good. So I'll just delete that and then put this back on. I'm going to make an iron sword, which will give me enough. Yeah, I should be able to kill some enemies easily. So where are those enemies and where is my dragon? There's my dragon taking a nap. And that's an enemy, maybe? No, that's another chest. <laughs> it's angry at me. Oh, and there's a creeper behind it. Okay, so I'll have to fight the chest while also trying to fight the... <laughs> while also trying to fight the creeper. Very normal thing we always do. And we're going to try and get mob essence. I would love to know how you get mob essence. Chat, if anyone knows about mob essence, please... Oh, there we go. No, that's that's a magic spell. Mob essence, right? Yeah, that's a mana mode. Very, very, very different. Um, so mob essence. There's got to be a way. And I bet it's in that guide. That we threw away. So I'll, I'll kill the skeletons. I'll get a few mana motes, worst case. Best case, we'll find something more valuable here. I'm not sure that we will actually. Oh no, I tagged a dragon into net. A dragon that can wither you. Didn't realize that was a possibility even. But now I know it is. <laughs> oh, and there's a mutant creeper. Okay, my life is so over. My life is very, very over. But I'm just going to get out of here. While I can. Eat one of these. Is there a dragon coming after me still? I look fine for that. So yeah, I have everything I need but a mob essence. Maybe the mob essence can be crafted. Um, please take the stick out. The sound is killing me. The stick? What sound is the stick making? You have the grave out on at least. Yeah, so dying is at least slightly less tragic because of that. It is true. Um... Is it uh, weird that I watch your live stream? Because then I get to watch you and play at the same time. Hope you're doing desert well, my friend, says Nicholas Garrett. No, that's incredibly normal, actually. I, um, I um, Someone someone just tipped earlier, in fact, uh, Ruby Doe, who said that uh, they're playing the Stardew Valley update. Got me excited for the Stardew Valley update. Makes, me sound, makes it sound like I should give it a try, honestly. Um, no, I'm so dead. I am so dead. I am so very dead. Okay. Zoom our way out there. We're in one piece. We're great. Now we'll try and zoom our way back in, maybe. Jump over the spider. Great. Yeah, yeah, we did great. We did wonderfully tonight. I haven't found out what mob essence is still. <laughs> but I... Oh, what is that? Okay, it's just a dragon. It's just a dragon. It's a weird-looking dragon, but it is just one of those. And now we're going to go to the nether where it's safe, or we're going to go to sleep, maybe. And we're going to... I, it's it's sad because I feel like I have the ability to... Oh, man. Ability to have a messy inventory, apparently. So throw this in there. This in... No, keep that. These in there. These in there. Uh, that in there. Just, you know, get rid of some garbage. I would love to keep the gold next, but it's just not that valuable. And then we can make another crafting table. And we can see if maybe, just maybe... I can work out what mob essence is. So mob essence can be crafted. You need a glass bottle. You need strength. So I need to go get that back. Feathers. Okay. That's that's very doable. Glass bottles are easy to make. I'll do those right now. In fact, the, the, I've got a lot of sand ready for precisely this task, but it's fine. I just need free mob essence, so free glass. Should keep me going. Um, then I need some strength. So a bit of a pain, but I'll just... Walk back in there, pick up the string and nothing else, hopefully. Yep, got it. And then feathers. Chat, how do I get my hands on feathers very easily? I think the easiest feather drop... My mind always says, like, oh, what you want to do is kill zombies. But it's been 10 years since that worked, so... <laughs> Instead, just a, just, just a, just a feather. Uh, shipwreck or chickens? I think a shipwreck is slightly easier than a chicken. If, I, if I'm leveling with you. And so I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to grab this bony guy. Or, or that not bony guy. I'm going to go look for a shipwreck. Get some feathers from it. And then use those feathers to get armor. Oh, this is I can't use this guy. He's not, he's not mine to use. 
So yeah, just having a shipwreck around here somewhere would make a huge difference to my ability to do this. If we don't find it, that's okay. But I, I'm sure with a dragon especially, we can find one. Oh, look at this, a yellow dragon. Nope, attached to a tamer. There's just so many of these these days. So I'm going to buy the last saddle that we have the ability to. And then I'm going to look at the vultures. Very, very, very interesting. You, this is not what vultures do in real. I guess it is actually, don't they? They kind of circle around something. But it is, it is very jarring to see birds like, yeah, I don't want to go anywhere. I just want to float up here. It feels like not what birds are built to do. But that's okay, I guess, too. Um, I could just ride this 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 panther through the uh, through the, the oceans. You willing to do that with me, buddy? You willing to... Nope, nope, okay. That's not a good idea. Instead, we're going to jump on this purple dragon. And he will be my salvation. Please let me tame you, Night Stalker. Yes! Perfect. Let's go. Find a shipwreck. No. Up. Oh, that way, please. Okay, so without a night vision potion, or a water breathing potion, we kind of are just going to have to play this by eye. It's a real phrase. I say it all the time. Going to play it by eye, and it's going to go wonderfully. But yeah, I think a lot, of, a lot of YouTubers like having the idea of like other channels as like a no-stress way to do things. I think um, the problem with like what you might call a creative job is that you... If you make things and people don't like them, you're actively, like, going back in skill. It's, a, uh, I don't know, like, uh, people who work, like, normal wage jobs that are, you know, like, real business. It's like, yeah, you are worth this amount per year because you sit there and you plug holes in a, you know, you do whatever you do. But it's, uh, it's very different in stuff like this where it's like, yeah, you made a bad video, algorithm likes you 1% less. Your viewers are like, oh, the magic's gone away. And so having, like, a way to do your job without all the pressure of it, I think it's surprisingly common. Like, there's so many YouTubers who have, like, a main channel they haven't posted to for years because of that pressure, but still have all the little side projects going on. So, yeah, no shipwrecks. Um, I could probably find a chicken in a village here, though. I, I would be willing to bet that I'll find a chicken somewhere around this plains biome. A little bit easier than I will from a shipwreck. So, hello, villagers. I am here to save you from your big, big fear. That big fear is Nine Golem, of course. So I'll dig a hole two down. And then I'll go back into it. It feels wrong to do this from a two hole. But we can. And because the walking stick has not limited durability, I'm going to use it instead of my iron sword to save some. Pick up a little bit of iron. And then find a chicken. Oh, actually, you can kill cats. No, you get string when you kill cats. I think if you tame cats, they might give you feathers. But I'm pretty sure that means they're killing chickens. You also get feathers from probably, honestly, weirdly enough, vultures. But most birds that aren't chickens from the uh, the naturalist add-on will give me feathers too. So, weirdly enough, it is worth me checking around specifically for that. Um couldn't watch the let's play video upset me a lot i'm sorry to hear that uh xavier i uh i do feel like there are some there's a lot of people who like real talk because it like resonates with them and their feelings on a thing and some people are like oh, this is too real i was watching the uh the free body problem very good show by the way and they have this like insanely graphic like they make this like very cool way to to achieve something militaristically and then they just show it to you, how it would actually be. And it's very horrifying, but in the way where I'm like, well, I, I want to see that. Um, a lot of people getting sliced in half, let me tell you. So, um, cats give you feathers when you sleep. Also, we yeah, have free, free feathers is going to be enough to make my armor. I'm going to now dress like a skeleton. What do you think my abilities as a skeleton will be, chat? I want you to have guesses. Because I genuinely have no clue myself. <laughs> like, this could do anything right now. Oh, actually, we could just go, like, to a whole nother lava pit, couldn't we? There's nothing holding me in one place. Aimbot. Yeah, it, I, I hope so. You shoot arrows and they just magically go in the right direction anyway. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, um... You get unlimited arrows. Oh, that's that's actually a pretty well-balanced idea. Shoot infinity arrow. 
Yeah, uh, that's just that's just a rodent's idea. Just an 8010. Fewer inventory slots, says Mad582. I don't think I can live with fewer inventory slots. I just don't think I can do it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Love that. So now we've got free glass. We can make some bottles. There they are. And now we can make mob essence. Free mob essence means we can craft all the way at the top here. I can make creeper armor. What do you think that does? But I think I want skeleton. So skeleton chest plate. And then skeleton helmet. Oh, no, not skeleton helmet. I guess I'll have skeleton helmet. And then skeleton leggings. Okay, so let's see what it does, chat. Oh. <laughs> so it's just worse than iron armor. Does it, did it do anything for me? I'm guessing you have to wear a full set for it to really be effective. But yeah, we're going to make gold boots because we're going to the nether. So it looks a bit out of place. But now I'm ready to mine around, find some good stuff. And I've also got some iron to make an iron pickaxe from. I should have got more wood while I was out there, but I'll, I'll hopefully be fine. Maybe you need the boots too. I bet I do need the boots too. But uh, it's okay. Is this with the new six add-ons from today, says so T-Edge? Uh, there are four add-ons that came out today. I have all four of them on as well. I don't know if my thumbnail is uh, updated for that yet. I uh, Let's see, actually. Oh, yeah, it has. So, so, so yeah, the new price is 78 US dollars. Um, I say US dollars because lots of countries around the world call their cur currency the dollar. I feel like some people will probably think it's weird. But you say dollars and then people are like, you know, it's it's easy. Like, literally, like, America's neighbor to the north. They use dollars too. Literally, America's much funnier neighbors, you know, in the upside down land. They they use it too. It's uh, dollar, dollar -y dues, as you might like to call them. The dollars everywhere. There's no avoiding it. Uh, just like how there's no avoiding the fact that everything, every one of us will die someday. Um, and the only thing to do about it is to, is to, I don't know, buy yourself a Toy Cat mug. Anyway, um, the important thing to say here is that I cannot find my way around this never. I thought this would be great chat, but I mined too high for sure. Is there any way out? I... Why do so many, so many countries use dollar as their currency name? Uh, I do think it is largely a... When you're making a currency, you... Like, you look at the currencies around the world, and you might use one of those as a template. Like, when you're doing anything as a country, doing it from scratch is very unlikely to be successful because you kind of need international money. So you need you need something that international markets will understand. And so when you want to explain your currency, being like, oh yeah, this is the dollar, but it's the New Zealand dollar. Everyone's like, oh, I get that. In a way, they might not if you call it the, the, the shekel. Imagine a currency called the shekel, internet. <laughs> if you're curious, I think that's Israel that's called the shekel. I could be mixing it up, but I'm, I'm fairly sure it is. There's there's some really silly currency names in some parts of the world. Hey, we found something, chat. It's going to be a pain to get to, but I found something. So we'll, we'll dig this into a tunnel or into like a one of these just to make it easier to get in and out of. There we go. And then I'm just going to jump my way in, I guess. Okay, so I'll later turn this into a proper staircase. But for now, let's see if we can't mine all the way down there. Perfect, yeah. Let's use some blocks. Mine over to here. Make it at least double block high if we can. Just for extra security reasons. Now let's do this. Do you think um, the lag is truly something? It's uh, the ruble. Uh, yeah, the ruble's pretty silly. We just give each other belly rubs. That's our currency. That's what ruble sounds right, like, right? It's like, yes, the rubs. Um, I have a friend who calls, like, British currency rubs. Um, I wonder if that's where he gets it from, actually. Maybe he's making fun of the ruble. Or maybe he's like, yeah, well, back in the day, you used to get a, you know, for just a single, single pound, you'd get one of those. I assume that's not his point. I'll have to ask him next time I see him. It's one of those friends where I assumed he was, like, trying to be... Where he was, like, 
He's like, he's like successful or whatever's going on. I thought he was like being like too cool to meet because he'd always be like, ah, yeah, I guess we could, you know, like be, be kind of tricky to get into. But he kind of like opened up recently like, yeah, he's, he's got some stuff going on. I, I think everyone does ultimately. It's the weird thing about life is that the everyone is going through something. It's just, I don't know how well they, they hide it or not to some extent. Or maybe a, a better way to put it is that everyone's broken. <laughs> <laughs> it's just about how well you can deal with your broken and put it to a side. Some people think that they are uniquely broken because they don't see broken in the rest of the world. But I assure you, the rest of the world is broken too. Also, a uh, coordinates to the bottom of that staircase would be great. Dasher, if you're on coordinate duty anyway, um, I think that would help a lot. So now we... Did you hear about the Atlanta Bridge situation? It's in... Um, Baltimore, right? Yeah, I I saw that. Um, I do think that it's one of those crazy things. But it is also just like, yeah, sometimes freak, sometimes bad accidents happen. Sometimes a boat loses its steering and just happens to go into the wrong place. Um, I guess it's kind of inevitable that with as many humans as we have, a disaster is going to happen every now and then. Uh, or maybe maybe it's not. Maybe it's horrifying. Maybe someone should be held responsible. I I feel bad for the um, I feel bad for the boat like driver who's like oh yeah like he's gonna like you know when a train driver hits a person they have to go through like months of time off and like it's a whole thing because you intuitively feel guilt like survivor's remorse but like you kind of literally killed them um, that person's gonna feel it on the level of like, oh yeah, maybe people die as a result of his... Even if he couldn't have done anything better, he's going to feel like he could have. But even worse than that, he's he's not gonna just going to feel like, oh yeah, a lot of people... So if you're curious, there was a bridge that collapsed in uh, Maryland, a uh, US state, uh, today because a boat lost control, drove into it. And I imagine the driver's going to feel for a really long time like, not only is this like new story everyone knows about, like his fault but all the deaths he's you know it's i as someone who's been around a death recently everyone has this little bit of like i could have done something better to save this person um people get really tangential in how they'll think that they're responsible for a death um i know it's something I'm, i've been pretty good at i i uh my, my only regrets in life are like oh Wish I'd done this thing while someone was alive. Would have been able to hang out. I, I felt like I had, like, the cleanest conscience. And, like, well, I did more than I was expected to while I was, while I was alive. Um, I <laughs> Maybe that's a weird thing to say, actually. But uh, a point is to say is I've seen how people will rationalize themselves into I am responsible for this bad thing that happened when they're clearly not. And so I can't imagine how it is when you clearly are to the outside observer side. Also, there is a... Oh, Mutant Ghast. Get away from me, Mutant Ghast. Get away from me. Okay, so I'm gonna shoot this thing in the face and then fly away from it. Okay, we're good. So flying around the nether is a very effective travel mechanism, but this this has killed me before, so I've got to be very careful with it. Because uh, it doesn't work how I expect it to. Oh, are you in the nether? Um, when you're playing Bedrock, be careful of the gas because they spawn very often. Exactly, Martin Lopes, three by one. I um, I guess what are we what are we gonna find around here? I think third person's gonna be the best way to look for stuff. I want to find a Never Fortress, and kind of secondly, I want to find a Bastion. Not even really. I think for a run like this, I'll be fine. By the way, chat, can you tell I've got skeleton armor on? I bet it's really good at something, but I've yet to work out what that something is, so I'll let you know when I find out, I guess. <laughs> but probably something, right? I, um, when you are caught by lava, you can use a cauldron of water in the nether to stop being uh, burnt up. Yeah, that's one of those cool niche tips. Um, it is very fun. I, um, yeah, with that said, um, the important thing, avoid any lava lakes. Spooky, scary toy cat. Yeah, I guess I guess my real ability is the ability to scare off trick or treaters. Okay, I think I think I've lost the ability to fly, chat. So I'm gonna get off, and I'm gonna get back on, and we're gonna go. 
Yeah, I think I think there's a limit to how long you can fly in one session with a dragon. Maybe. I honestly it seems pretty counterintuitive how the dragons work. I'm just looking for a never fortress. I'm down to find it in any way imaginable. I wonder if you're afraid of wolves now. <laughs> that would be fun if uh, putting on the skeleton armor made wolves want to attack me because they thought I was a skeleton. Maybe if you put on wolf armor, you get a meat. You have to kill every skeleton in sight. That'd be a fun way to link those things together. Okay, so yeah, no, no luck so far. No luck whatsoever. Well, I'm having a great time flying around the Nether. It is very satisfying. Very, very enjoyable. But yeah, I, um, you play it very well. Keep up. Thank you, Martin Lopes. Uh, I, I do appreciate it. Sorry, I said Martin Lopes terribly now. Yeah, I think, um, oh, there's a Bastion. Okay, that's something. It's right now not the most useful thing for me. I could stop in anyway, though. Let's see if it's a good Bastion. I mean, it's guaranteed to have something useful for me. Yeah, it's this type of Bastion. Um, this is a good type of Bastion, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna park my I'm gonna park my dragon right outside here, just over here. And then we're gonna come back. Hope he's still there. But I'm just gonna come. I'm just gonna get a few pieces of gold. Shouldn't be too hard. Should be very easy, in fact. But there's lots of lots of things in life start that way. And not lots of things in life end that way. That's what they don't tell you. So there's actually already some Nevrak over there, interestingly. But yeah, the dragon is climbing my staircase. Very funny. Uh, I'm just gonna grab some Nevrak and start mining, I guess. Go! Oh, no! 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 Chat, 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 chat. Um, okay, I am, I am going to die. I am dead. It's over. Oh. I never, I never have a good grasp on how many picks I'm going to be on Firefall. But yeah, I didn't get that gold block. I lost it. I made the whole, whole place hostile with me. And I think my benefit is precisely zero so far. Which means I have to go back in. But if I'm going to go back in, I need to wait until I have uh, better hunger amounts. So we'll be great for that. Um, is Streamlabs not working for other people? Says Adam Sony. Oh, that's a shame. Is Streamlabs down for you? What, is it the credit card feature that's not working, or is it something else? I find the, find the credit card processing sometimes doesn't work there. But PayPal is a really good alternative to that. I, uh, I had a big aversion to having the PayPal on there for so long, but you can pay a PayPal on, uh, on Streamlabs. In case that is valuable to anyone. I think it's valuable personally because PayPal takes a lot of cards that a lot of places won't take themselves. I use PayPal for a lot of things. I paid for dinner using PayPal chat. <laughs> If you want to know. It was really good dinner too. I, uh, I'm thinking about it right now. And I, um... My only regret is that I don't have more. So yeah, I'm thinking I'm just going to kill the brutes. But from a distance, maybe. Yeah, we can we can do that nice and easy. Having a lava bucket would be good, but it doesn't seem so necessary. I'm just going to knock you away. Twice at a time, apparently. It is weird that you can damage enemies twice in a row when you really think about it. But that's okay. I don't need to really think about it. I just want to get my hands on a few blocks of gold. And so let's do precisely that. You can't hurt me. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can, you can. Okay, I'm being hurt. I'm being hurt. I said he couldn't, but he's, he's ignoring my, my consent. Um, eat the pork chop again. And probably just watch out for anyone with love, I guess. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. You, you're not getting me. Make the title, I let chat decide the title for this video. But that, chat, chat, chat didn't decide, oh man, that is too many layers of self-referential. I like it though, I do like it. Okay, so I'm just going to dig myself in a hole. I'm going to live here happily ever after. No more going outside for me. I'm living great in this little hole. I, I think getting nine gold isn't a good outcome, but I think I'm going to accept it as a way to avoid... All the potential bad things that might happen if I were to leave it. Eat another bread, I think, just for now. And then let's jump on this and get out there. Let's go. Ride me away. <laughs> Dragons are OP, chat. I single-handedly make the run a more bizarre place to be. 
Dream Lab isn't working. Whoever tips took out the highest get to decide the title. That's it, says Harrison Gray. <laughs> now that's an idea for a stream title right there. I, um... You know, I that, that, that is a very funny one. We should do that sometime. Uh, the highest tip decides what the stream title's gonna be. <laughs> what do you reckon, chat? Do you think that's... Oh, God, the dragon just fell down. She just fell out of the sky. She just decided she didn't want to be up there anymore. Was there any way to know that was going to happen? That's so bizarre. Okay, we're gonna go back up. And we're gonna try and fly over land. Because that's scary. Um, yeah, I, um, we're talking about video title, but I did just create a live stream idea. Oh, there's a video title in there. Um, thank you. He hello, Harrison. Do you need to know what to title the video? Because I, I can give you a good title for it. Um, do you want it? Do you want, I, just, just to make sure, is that, is that what you need? I don't want to say it and then, and then get it wrong. If you're curious, chat, the, uh, the Hermitcraft one, yeah. So, um, I think you've just got to, I think you can start with, like, um, Hermitcraft, uh, free, new, free world download. Okay, okay. So, chat, you're gonna, live right now, you're watching me as I try to work out how to come up with a YouTube title. Um, because I have to work out what sounds good, what is searchable, and also what lets people immediately know what it's going to be. Well, hopefully interesting them in still watching it. They need to know what it is, but still want to watch it. So, um, the the fact that it's a free download on the marketplace is a big deal. Those are very rare. So, I think we start with, like, free, um, free, free marketplace. Oh, wait, Hermitcraft Season 9 is free. Hermitcraft is free on... Hermitcraft download free on the marketplace. Hermitcraft is now free on the Minecraft marketplace. Um, my review. Hermitcraft is now free on the marketplace. Um, yeah, Hermitcraft is now free on the marketplace. Brackets, my review. <laughs> Everyone knows the core of what's going on there. And then they can know what the what the reason is that it's going to be 13 minutes or whatever. Um... Yeah, gone wrong. <laughs> okay, yeah, brackets gone wrong. Let's let's do it. Add add add, add it. We're, we're good. Um. So yeah, I uh, I can't help on this. I couldn't come up with a prompt for a dating profile. If you're looking to get back into dating, your dating profile should always say, um, I I'll love my dog more than I love you. Um, and uh, then you all you need to be like, oh yeah, I'll tell off. I'll tell my friends and family we met at the bar. By the way, imagine how bored... Just, you know, it's been like four or five years since I've used online dating, by the way. But imagine how boring you'd have to be to... to, to for, for, your, for your friends and family to think you meeting someone at the bar is the best case scenario. Like, I, I don't know. I, I think everyone in my life would judge me. Like, oh yeah, I had... we. Oh god, the dragon is keeping me from the lava right now, chat, but very barely. I, uh, anyway, yeah, there you go. Okay, does anyone else need anything worked out? Does anyone need titles, or do you need ideas for your dating profile? I can, I can provide. Oh, no, let me out of this. I've heard the pro tip is to put a picture of you with a, a fish on your dating profile. Pro tip. Um, that's, that's not a good pro tip. That's a bad pro tip. Oh, is it meeting at the bar a common thing? I think, I think it's sad though, right? It's like, yeah, the only way I can meet people is I go to the place where we get so drunk. I, I don't know, like, I guess the ideal way you'd meet someone is like something that sounds classy that like also signals that you do cool things. Like, oh yeah, we met while traveling. We met at the bookstore, <laughs> the library. <laughs> we met, we met. I, I think meeting at work is also semi-valid. I, I think the ideal though, the... The catch-all is like, oh yeah, friend of a friend. Like, meeting through a friend of a friend, or rather, meeting through a friend, is like the... Uh, it's it's the ideal way. It's like, oh yeah, this is someone in my social circles. Um, I don't know why it's that way, now that I say it out loud. 
But I feel like it definitely is. Also, I cannot find a single fortress. Although my dragon, he looks like a very good boy. Um, I, uh, I met my partner at karate. See, that's a good way to imply that you beat someone up if they don't like your story. It means your story wins by default. Please don't beat me up, digging troops. Um, also, uh, yeah, I, uh, you've killed a piglet brute. You're so brave. I've killed so many. Oh, God, why was I? Why did I read your message? Why? The wrong time for that. Chat. Why did the dragon do that to me? I do not like that. I, I, I could blame myself for this, for flying into the lava. I'll blame the dragon. I'll blame the dragon for letting me in, but not letting me out though. So this is a guidebook for world utilities. Don't need it. This is mutants, more TNT, and bunker control tablet. Okay, chat, I'm going to build a bunker real quick. Add bunker. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for a, uh, I'm gonna go for a, a cave. Build, oh, wow. Congrats, can I build another one? <laughs> can I do this in the nether? Okay, add bunker. Pick new bunker entrance, hut. So the old one stays there, by the way. Oh, wow. Ah, look at that, chat. That's fun. Okay, so we could do this in the nether to like mine out a huge area. Okay, I'm, think I'm thinking of using this tactically. So I'm gonna try this in the nether now. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I, I regret throwing away this tablet, by the way. What the heck? What the heck is this? So let's just uh, add bunker. I already have one, new bunker entrance. And the biggest one is gonna be the cave. Oh, yeah, that's fun. <laughs> then we're going to interact with the chest, I'm guessing. Oh, no, the cave entrance, it said. Interact with the cave entrance. Oh, it's... Oh, no. I don't understand. Uh, manage defenses. Add security turret. Okay, so... Add manage players. Undo last action. Very fascinated by all of this, but I just want to go in. How, I can clearly see there's an entrance under there, but I don't know how to use it. Okay, so let's try another another type of uh, bunker. Add bunker. Uh, pick new bunker entrance. I'll just go over tree for this one. Yeah, that's lovely. Perfect. <laughs> In interact with the tree to enter the bunker. Okay, chat. I'm interacting with the tree, but I cannot enter the bunker. I'm guessing it didn't build the rest of... Oh, there we go. No, nope, it's under here. I can't get in though because it's all weird blocks. So I have to destroy this block, but I can't destroy this block because it's fake. So we'll just climb down and I'll go inside and we'll see if this will help me beat Minecraft. This stream has taken a very confusing turn, but hopefully whatever I find will help me get my stuff back. No, I cannot. I can't use it, chat. I don't know why. Can we just walk through the doors? <laughs> Do I have to use the bunker control tablet? Uh... Nope, there's no option for that. Although you can see it clearly goes down a bunch. So I'll see if I can't break my way through. There's there's buttons here. Yeah, it, it, I think it's not set up to work in the nether. Crouch. Oh, maybe. No. Crouching is not doing it. So, um, also, could it spawn a bed in the nether? Let's find out. So I'm going to make another bunker over here. Add bunker. Uh, we'll go over the cave type again. So yeah, you can continuously build these as an easy way to explore. And um, we'll crouch with this. Nope, we just have to walk down. So there's the same bunker under here, but it fundamentally does not work. So there's nothing I can really do about that. Maybe it'll work if we go back to the overworld, though. Um, but yeah, very, very weird that you can just walk through these chests. Very, very weird. Man, yeah, this add-on is mind-blowing. There's cameras... Okay, this was the one I was most skeptical about. But look at this. You can... I right, view camera. Teleport to camera. Okay, so you can... Oh, no. Chat, chat. Uh, uh, oh, no, please. Um, uh, teleport to camera. Please. No, it's going to kill me. I need this gravestone finder. <laughs> Why is life this way? Uh, at least I've got a lovely house pre-built for me here now. So this lovely house has a lovely bed. And then I'm guessing below here. 
Yeah, this actually works. Okay, so elevator, we can use the tablet. Edit floor. Oh, we can we can name the floors. Okay, so edit floor, floor name. Uh, we'll call this one uh, highest tip names the stream title and submit. Okay, so now open doors and then it tells us now that we're here, but what is the point of this floor? I don't understand it. How do we go down? <laughs> I want to <laughs> edit floor. Okay, but I want to... What, what is the elevator? Okay, so we'll we'll sneak to enter the bunker. Okay, there we go. So chat, do you like my bunker? I... I can expand. Whoa, this is... This is actually wild. You, you can pay for like... Oh yeah, this is... There's so much happening here. <laughs> this is silly. But what, what is this room? What are these? Well, can you help me get my stuff back from the, the never? That's kind of what I'm looking for here. Uh, I'm just going to walk through these. Oh, nope. Can't do that. You get a classic, classic oof sound. Uh, no way this is a survival oriented add-in. Is he even trying to beat Minecraft anymore? So I need to beat Minecraft, which means getting my stuff back, right? But if I want to get my stuff back, it might help to find something in here. But all I can find in here, there's there's not a lot of value really in here. Maybe nope, it's just a pot. The pot exists for pot's sake. But like maybe there's some food we could find in one of these rooms. Like this got to be a kitchen in here somewhere, right? There's a there's a dropper. I'm sure we'll find one. Okay, scan me in, and then it's gonna reactivate i'm guessing more turrets and then we can do more expanding expand now you can expand infinitely but what is the point of expanding infinitely oh here we go yes okay so now we go for utility and i'll go for just food that's all i need spawns hoverboards sure if you the hoverboard is how i get my my stuff back from my dragon then i guess i can do that oh okay so now chat Oh, this is so dumb. Why Why is there a hoverboard room? I'll grab a purple one. And now we can get it. Oh, this is faster. There we go. Look. <laughs> okay, now we can have miscellaneous. An end room? Uh, a never room. Wait, can we beat Minecraft by... If there are blazers in this room chat, this will change everything. If we can just find some blazers... Okay, come on. Chest? No. Chest? Nothing. Chest? It's empty. The chests are always empty. If there's a blaze spawner in here... No, it's just... It's a room that has never stuff in it. That's as much as they were willing to do. So now we'll try over here. And we'll see if we can build something a bit more... Fun. A bit more useful, perhaps. So we'll have another hallway. On this side, we'll try... Utility? Come on. Oh, portal room. Spawns portals. Spawns portals to where? It says mission adventure awaits. Oh. Oh, chat. Chat. Whoa, look at this. Wow. Can you, can you believe? See, oh, whoa. <laughs> yes, dying in the never was the smartest thing I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this this add-on is OP. It's not correct. It's not correctly balanced for survival. This isn't a true survival add-on. Um, I I think that probably goes without saying. <laughs> That'll help you beat the game. Okay, so now we just need some decent gear, and we'll, we'll defeat Minecraft. I think this dragon will be nice. Um, we'll bring him through the portal with us, hopefully. But yeah, let's um utility. We need like weaponry, right? Okay, so good news. I don't have to make my own weaponry. I just gotta go in this room. And what do I find? Armor. I'll take the, the, the neverite, I guess. Just some free neverite armor chat. This is this is very normal. This is what everyone has all of the time. Don't act like it's not normal. I'll grab a neverite sword and 
Uh, a trident. I'll grab a whole inventory full of tridents. They're quite fun. Uh, I grab a bow. And... I'm guessing... Oh, some totems. Yeah, yeah, this is this is good. Um, so this is a this is a survival mode add-on, chat. This world does not have uh, the, the cheats enabled, although the magenta glitch has come back. Uh, there are no cheats enabled on this world. It's just an add-on that thinks that this is an appropriate amount of gear to have. This is creative mode of no creativity. <laughs> it is... I, I agree with that 100%. This is... This is OP and defeats the point of survival. It is not intended for anyone who's serious about Minecraft. It's intended for your, I don't know, your friends, kids who are maybe annoying you a bit. Okay, so this is an end room. I'm just kind of curious if it has an end portal in it or... It's just a room made from end stuff with places to store things. Although, I, I guess shulker boxes would be handy too. The Megabase current YouTube message tells me everyone should have this. Yeah, this is, uh, this is wild. And now we'll go for miscellaneous. Not miscellaneous, I guess. We'll go for, uh, utility. And we'll see if we can't get, like, a decent enchantment room. Potion room? Honestly, potion room. If we get a slow falling potion, it limits the last way that I might die to the dragon. Although, maybe I don't have all the potions. Oh, chat. It's getting worse. The pink glitch is spreading. <laughs> uh, is there gonna be potions in here? Dragon's breath and gunpowder. So you do still have to craft your own potions here. For what it's worth. Um, but I'll take an instant health and a speed potion. I'll, I'll make I'll make some get some value from those. So uh instant health and yeah, that's as good as we need. So we would we would be able to craft things. We would be able to do potions if we have the ingredients here. But we don't need that right now. We're gonna go to the end now, chat. Um this is perfectly balanced. People who think that this is, uh, this isn't balanced, I have no idea what you mean. I just, I've, I found my way to the end in the very normal way that people usually do. I didn't bring a pickaxe with me. Gonna regret that one, huh? Uh, I guess I could just eat these to get out. Maybe? Hey! Haha! <laughs> Chorus fruit, saving the day. Um, and I don't have any arrows for my thing. Also, the ender dragon health bar is glitched. Uh, I'm going to throw a trident out to keep her in the center. Hopefully it works. Doesn't work. Ouch. That's okay, though. So, drink a... Oh, no. There's a mutant enderman, chat. His, his texture is broken. But that is a mutant enderman. Uh, okay, so... The dragon's health bar is, is missing. And... That seems not good. Um, but it's okay. Oh, you know what I'll do? This is this is the time for crafty, right? Come hey, on in. Buddy, I'm dude. Yeah, We're you're gonna, gonna, be the you're gonna best help me Minecraft fight, I think. Ugh, oh, that's okay. Smart. Yeah, just that's that's your job. I don't have any food, so I'm gonna eat more chorus fruit, I guess, and then drink some instant healths, and that's gonna be my contribution to doing this. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna throw a trident through the dragon's neck. Don't know if it works that way. I don't know if I'm dealing double damage. As you can see, installing 23 add-ons is not what Minecraft would like you to do. Um, very much seems to uh, want the exact opposite, in fact. But the fact that there's nothing stopping you is kind of cool. Wow, that was a very well-timed dragon. Protecting her pearls so perfectly. Um, I think the time has come to really kill you. Okay. Dude, oh, no, 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 no. I'll okay. save you. I'm going to let Crafty deal with it. This is, this is the weirdest end fight. I don't know how much health the dragon has. I don't know if there's a way to know. Oh, okay. Please ignore me. Yeah, he's got this though. He's shooting the dragon. Is that is he programmed to shoot the dragon or is he just programmed to shoot anything that hits me? I'm not sure. I feel like Minecraft can do with turning off and turning on again, chat. What do you reckon? Do you think we should do that? I think we could do with one of those. So pay to lose world. We're gonna exit. It's gonna crash. Yep, Minecraft just crashed. So two crashes and some severe lag twice. Nah, no, not ideal. But say what you will, I think I'm about to beat Minecraft in uh, the shortest time imaginable. Can you get a refund? Sadly not, sadly not. So yeah, as we're going further through this series chat, it has to be said, the more add-ons you're adding, the more broken Minecraft is getting. And it's not even close. This is a... Uh, 
We've gone from pay to lose to pay to take away Minecraft as a game. Which means in theory you could probably speedrun it real fast if you wanted to. So uh, you hired an AI man to kill the dragon. The dragon's health was not going down at all. I think the dragon health bar has a texture that then changes. But the texture was just pink. And so it was meant to change. But it just didn't have the ability to. Because it hadn't loaded. The fact that you had to pay for this experience makes it even funnier. <laughs> $78 chat. $78. I have paid Minecraft more money than a full video game costs. And I get this jank that does not correctly work. And which allows you to cheat your way through. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to... This is where our funds go to. Oh, what has happened? What has happened? Broken chat. Okay, I'm, I'm here. Um, I'm gonna drink this potion real quick. Um, okay, I'm getting hit by something. Okay, I'm just gonna. Oh, what is happening? <laughs> okay, Crafty, save me. Um, so yeah, this is <laughs> this is the goofiest I've ever seen Minecraft. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, I'm just gonna run in a second now. Underneath all this end acid, I'm getting hit by something. I've got half a heart chat. I'm gonna eat the chorus fruit, but I can't. I'll die. Oh! oh I've got totems, right! I can survive anything. Okay. So I need another totem. And I need to avoid this. Real bad. Okay. So, yeah, I can't get close enough to the dragon to hurt it. Realistically. Um, okay, come on. Just let me, let me finish the dragon. Okay. I'm gonna eat a chorus fruit. Go, and I'm away. So yeah, this um, this is gonna be my last totem. I need to kill the dragon now, or it's all over. Come on, dragon, please die. Please die, dragon, before I get dead. Yeah. <laughs> okay, chat. It took me just under an hour and a half, but as you can see, pay to lose Minecraft is officially pay to skip the game now. I don't know how I'm meant to feel about this. And I don't know if you can really count that as beating the game. <laughs> but I can say I've had a wild day doing this. And I'm glad that I decided to play around the bunkers. It makes, and honestly the mob armor was fun too. It is, uh, I, I'm more, I'm, I had very low expectations of the new add-ons, but I mean, the, some in some ways they were proven more than accurate and in some ways even more so I I do think I want to play around with this um, this base add-on to see just how broken it is on its uh, most extreme extent but uh yeah for now I just want to say thank you for watching thank you for coming along for the weirdest <laughs> stream I might have done in a very long time <laughs> and GG everyone I did so well today right I killed the dragon all on my own. <laughs> I mean, me and, me and that other, that blue guy. But uh, we did a wonderful thing together. And if you've enjoyed this live stream, thank you for watching. Please consider liking or subscribing to the channel to see more of these. And uh, we're proud, question mark, of you, Sustasha. Thank you. Exactly. That's all I want people to say uh, is that they're, they're confused at my methods, but they are enjoying it anyway. And for the low, low price of just $78 chat, you can have this experience yourself. Have you considered doing that? I hope you have. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Because I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. It looks so out of place here. But yeah, goodbye.